Growing up, I would exclusively read comic books. Uh, my favorite comic book was Calvin and Hobbes. Uh, I loved all those comic strips like Foxtrot, and then I got into graphic novels when I was a little bit older. And so I kind of stopped doing that until I got to school, and I, I picked that back up not as like something that is a distraction from school, but it's actually something that's helped me learn in school. I've always been interested in being a doctor. I think sometimes the road seemed kind of hard to get to being a doctor, but I've always thought of that as like the end goal of who I wanted to be. I never thought of myself as someone that had a learning disability. I've always been pretty good at school. I've always kind of had trouble uh, paying attention in class. Um, reading comprehension has all been really, really tough for me. Those sorts of things I kind of was able to skate by on just because I've been able to adapt. But I really struggled my first semester here at med school. Um, the information was just a lot. And the amount of time it took me to kind of get through that material was just not sustainable. I talked to my doctor and we, we had a good conversation. Um, he asked me a few questions about my childhood and from there he was able to diagnose me with ADHD and then further than to dyslexia. I kind of went back to the basics and I started drawing a lot more in anatomy, and so that lined up with uh, medical neurology. So it was like the brain, the, uh, the, the eyes, all the cranial nerves. Those are all the nerves that come directly from our brain and do functions around, around our body. And so one of them was cranial nerve 11, and so I was trying to, for some reason it was like actually really hard for me to remember is the accessory nerve, and it helps you turn your head, um, almost like a shaking motion, and it helps you shrug your shoulders. The thing that just popped into my head was the song uh, It Wasn't Me by Shaggy. Wasn't me. Just kept thinking of that motion where someone's shaking his head and shrugging their shoulders saying it wasn't me. Dr. Patitucci is a professor at the Central Wisconsin campus. She reached out and told me that I'm really interested in visual arts too. She's been super supportive and she's been using it to teach her class and that just like warmed my heart that like students out there that are in undergrad that maybe want to be in the medical field later were using something that I made to help them learn. I think moving forward and like something I want to do as part of my career is create comic books or like visual learning tools for kids because when I was a kid I loved comic books and I think I learned so much from the pictures so if I can provide that for for patients that come in and maybe explain their their um, diseases in, in, in comic book ways that would be I think I want to incorporate that in my profession I would love that. <laughs>